Yeah, so it's twofold. On the one hand, you have privacy concerns that, you know, Facebook does not have the best track record on protecting user data and that having a platform that's specifically targeted to kids younger than 13 years old would basically make an avenue to the world for their data to get out there. That's a concern for parents, it's a concern for the kids, and, and as you, you can see this morning, it's a concern for, for regulators and, and the public sector. On the other side of it, though, is, is more about welfare. Is it a good idea to have a platform for children? Are children younger than 13? Is, is being able to share images online? Is being able to discuss uh, or have live conversations online good for their mental well-being? Is there an issue around bullying? Is there issues around depression? So those are the kind of the two approaches or two concerns that these attorneys general are putting forward to Mark Zuckerberg. So, so what, is, what is Facebook saying in response to these attorneys general? So Facebook have put out a statement this morning basically saying, yes, any product that we develop, we will do so with privacy in mind. They have said they have a willingness to work with regulators. They agree that safety is the absolute priority. I think what's really interesting about this, you know, this is based on a lot of Bloomberg reporting. Instagram for youth is the, is the code name internally about this product. There's no sort of firm launch date for it. Mm. What's interesting is there's always been an acknowledgement by different executives at Facebook that there are children younger than 13 using the main Instagram platform anyway. So their argument is also that, well, hold on, we're bringing a specific platform that's designed and targeted for them. We'll, we will think about safety, we'll, we will think about privacy. And that kind of takes away the issue that there are kids who are lying about their age anyway, you know, I think you're saying that they are meeting age requirements to use Instagram and other Facebook products. So, so they are kind of putting that forward. And, and it's not a new argument, you know, this is something that Mark Zuckerberg was asked about in front of Congress in March. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.